This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 15, which is Velocity, Part 7. Ooh, they already have some code for us. Let's test out what... Oh, like a pinwheel, I guess? Huh. All right. Let's see what we're going to do. Controlling speed. You used rotation speed outside the draw loop to make your sprite rotate when your program started. You can also use rotation speed inside the draw loop to change the speed of the sprite during the game. For example, a sprite can start rotating when the user presses the space bar, and it will keep rotating until it is told to stop. Right, so we would need to use an if statement for that, a uh, conditional. Oh, and it says that. Great. Do this. Look at the if statement inside the draw loop that checks whether the spacebar has been pressed. And we can use show me where, where, but we'll find it. Use the rotation speed block to make the color wheel start spinning when the user presses the spacebar. So we need to find the if statement. We need to use rotation speed block to make the color wheel start spinning. Okay, I'm going to shrink instructions. All right, so here we create the wheel. We assign the wheel variable to, well, the wheel animation, which should be up here. Yep, okay. Then in our draw loop, and remember, draw loops repeat about 30 times a second. What is our comment here? Comments are for programmers, right? Slash, slash, the computer ignores this code. It's for the person making it to remind you of something or remind the person you're working with. Wheel starts spinning when the user presses the space bar. Well, not yet. Okay, but they have the detection. If, and remember, with the conditional, this is going to be like a Boolean value. We're asking the computer if key went down. So, hey, did the key go down? False. The key hasn't gone down. The computer would then skip it. It would redraw the sprite, go back to the top of our draw function, and run all of this again. And then background blue, wiping out what was already there. Again, 30 times a second, so we never see the blank screen if you hit run. And then it checks again, key went down. So if the key went down, we wanted to change the rotation speed to make the color wheel start spinning. Does it give you a... Nope. All right. So let's go ahead. Rotation speed. We need this inside the if statement to be run only if this occurs too. So once I hit the uh, space bar, it's going to rotate a speed of 2. And it looks like it's just going to... We don't have a stop statement yet, so it's just going to keep doing that after this. And then once it rotates at a speed of 2, it drops below the code and keeps going. All right, so let's go ahead and test this. I'm going to hit the space bar now. Ta-da! Magic. What if we spin it super fast? 2 is fine, but, you know, live dangerously. Whoa! And I think that fulfills... Yep, show me. Use the rotation block. Yeah, we got it. Awesome. So that's the code that worked for me. I set this inside, move this over. You can pick your own speed. And onward we go.